Welcome to today's Big Brother 17 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Justin Cross. He's been watching since Big Brother 12, and today is his 18th birthday. So happy birthday. I hope you're having an awesome day, and thank you so much for watching. All right, so, oh wait, I wanted to say real quick, if you guys want to be house guest of the day, I know some people were asking, uh, send me a private message here on YouTube, or you can send me a quick email. Um, the email address is madrosd at gmail.com. Okay, so they had the power of veto ceremony yesterday, and as expected, John saved himself, and then Jeff was put up on the block next to James. Oh, snap. So after the ceremony, Johnny Mac goes over to Vanessa, and he lets her know, like, I just wanted to tell you, I am voting to keep Jeff this week. What? So she's just like, that's fine, it's all good. But I'm just like, what? Why are you doing that? That's weird. Um, so I hope this isn't going to mess him up this week and put him on the radar because he's been doing a really good job so far of just laying low and not really making any waves. And I mean, honestly, it looks like Jeff is going to be going home this week. Um, so I hope this isn't going to get Johnny Mac in trouble. So Austin was talking to Johnny in the backyard and Johnny Mac was explaining like Jeff has always had my back, like he's always been there for me. Um, and when he was talking to Vanessa, even Vanessa was like, yeah, you're the only person who Jeff has never thrown un under the bus before. So Austin's like, yeah, yeah, I get it, that makes sense. But I'm still like, what? <laughs> it's just weird, I don't understand. So if you guys can like shed some more light on that, that would be awesome, uh, leave it in the comments. So of course Austin changes the conversation to girls and he's talking about the Liz's and um, I'm just like really confused because I thought that the sick, the sixth sense was gonna act like the twins are not twins and it's just one person but he was sitting there talking to Johnny Mac like yeah one of them I feel like likes me and the other one is not really so I was like uh, and then I was like uh, uh, uh. Um, but it was just confusing because he was totally talking to Johnny Mac like everybody's in the know so then uh, they were talking about Jeff again and Austin seems like really hurt that he has to get rid of Jeff this week and like Jeff is a potential threat to him. He's just like, I just want to keep doing the podcast. Like there's some of my favorite moments in this house and I just want to have fun and jury with Jeff. Like I feel like it'd be a really good time. And then he has one more thing to say about Jeff. He's got a little bit of a moral dilemma here. Not with the vote, but Jeff has said some questionable things about Jackie like he said that she was like easy and like Austin should just go for it and all this stuff so Austin's like should I take this information and tell Jackie about it just so she's aware or should I keep it to myself and wait until after the show he doesn't want to be that guy who like witnesses this stuff and like doesn't say anything about it you know especially since he's all anti-bullying and stuff um, so he's like going to everybody asking like, what do I do? What do I do? I don't think he's decided yet. So let's talk about Audrey. She's really tired of being left out. Like really tired of it. So she's talking to Vanessa in the HOH room. Clay walks into the room really loudly. He comes in and he's just like, well, <laughs> like it was really bizarre. So Audrey's just like, why do you have to draw so much attention? Like, why would you walk into a room like that and, like, get everybody's attention? And Clay is just like, Well, you're always in here. You're in the HOH. Oh, wait, sorry. You're in the HOH 24-7. <laughs> so he's just like, You're the one bringing attention up here. You're you're always up here. And Shelly comes in, and, like, things are getting really tense between Clay and Audrey. Uh, it turns into this whole ordeal about, like, trust. And Audrey's like, Clay, I don't know if I can trust you. And Clay is just like... What do you mean? Blah, blah, blah. So then Audrey pulls out like one of the best lines of the season so far in my opinion. This better make the show. She's just like, Shelly wanted a flirt mance, not to adopt a baby. <laughs> High five. Okay, so then Vanessa gets called to the diary room. It's just Shelly, Clay, and Audrey left in the HOH room. And they kind of like talk things out a little bit. It's like blah, 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 between Clay and Audrey. Seriously, it's like Shelly is the mom and Clay and Audrey are like the two kids fighting in the backseat of the car. Um, so eventually they get over it and Audrey's just like, guys, like I really want to go to the final three with you guys, even though you're a couple. And like no one wants to go to the final three with a couple, but I'm going to do it because I know that I can beat you in the last HOH. 
<laughs> I feel like that's not what, what you want to say to your final three, but anyway, that's just my opinion. So, in other news, OG Liz is back in the house, the original gangsta. Um, so they're filling her in on what she missed, and they're like, guess what? You kissed Johnny Mac twice! during the whole dare or dare thing the night before. So she's like, what? Oh my god. So then Vanessa, Austin, and Liz were all chatting up in the HOH room because Vanessa will not leave the HOH room anymore <laughs> unless she's called to the diary room. Um, so they're talking about the votes and they're pretty confident that Jeff is going to be the one to go home this week. And then Jeff, no, and then Vanessa is just like, I'm starting to think that Jeff is playing with his twin because I'll be talking to him about something uh, about like past conversations and he doesn't remember it so it's like he's playing with his twin and Austin is just like really come on now really Jeff is playing a crazy aggressive game like there's no way he's playing with a twin and he's playing that aggressively like it does not make sense so she's just like I guess. So then, speaking of the twin twist, they're telling Liz, like, keep denying it. Keep denying that you're a twin. Don't worry, we'll tell everyone for you. Austin. So then, Clay and Jeff are talking about the votes in the backyard. So, there are 11 people voting this week, which means that you need six to stay. So Jeff is, like, counting it out, and he's like, you know what? Jason and Meg are more loyal to James, so like he's, he can't really count on their votes. I don't think he's even going to try to get their votes. At least he's saying, that's what he's saying, he's not going to try for them. But he feels like he definitely has Jackie and Johnny Mac, and then he feels like he has Clay and Shelly. I don't think so. Um, but he feels like he should be able to get the votes this week. That's already four. He thinks if he's got Johnny Mac, he might have Becky. And then Austin, Liz, he feels like he's pretty good with them. Uh, so then Jeff was talking about how he's trying to figure out who the leak is. He feels like there's got to be somebody ratting him out to Vanessa. Like, what's going on here? Uh, you're talking to one of them. Um, and Clay was kind of leading Jeff on about his vote. He wasn't really saying yes or no, um, but he did tell him, like, you need to make sure you don't self-destruct this week because if you do, it's done. So it's time for a little comic relief. This set of house guests I feel like is very pranky this season so a couple of them got together smeared some chocolate on the toilet in the downstairs bathroom and then waited for Jason to go in there so he walks over to the bathroom he sees it and he's just like <gasps> mortified <laughs> he's freaking out it was great I loved it it was hilarious he's like somebody's gotta clean this shit up <sighs> sorry but it was great okay so back to the game Jeff campaigned to Liz, but he went about it all wrong. This was an awful idea. He was like, Liz, I need you right now. Like, you owe me because last week I helped to keep you off the block so you wouldn't be the replacement nominee. Did you really, though? Because I think it was Austin and Vanessa who did that, and I feel like you weren't really involved at all. So, just saying. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's like the worst campaign strategy to tell people that they owe you. Like, that's not going to make someone want to vote for you. So, Liz tells Austin about this, and he's just like, oh, Jeff's got to go. Blah. So then it was time for a booze delivery. It's a big booze up. A whole eight beers and two bottles of wine for, like, 14 people. So <laughs> they were playing drinking games. It took them a while to uh, get off the ground with this because they were just like, what are the rules? How do we play this? What do we do? So it took them forever. They played some flip cup, and then they did more dare or dare. So the first night of dare or dare, I got to say, was fun to watch. It was just like flirty and like fun things this one was disgusting this one a lot of the dares were like here lick this food off of this person it was gross like the most disgusting was like the barbecue sauce in the armpit like I, oh my god i'm gonna throw up it was so nasty favorite dare would probably have to be jeff wearing a diaper made out of toilet paper and strutting around the house that was a lot of fun so i hope we get to see that part on the show all right, so then Steve and Vanessa were having a chat up in the HOH room, and they were talking about how it hasn't really been a smooth transition to bring Steve into the whole Sixth Sense alliance. Um, Clay and Shelly are kind of, like, 
they don't want to work with Steve because they want to keep that option open just in case they need to put him up on the block. So Vanessa was telling Steve, like, they're not necessarily coming after you, but they kind of might want to nominate you. Um, so they're talking about if they can trust Clay and Shelly, and they're like, they have a lot of deals with a lot of people around the house, like, they're in pretty deep. Um, it's going to be, like, kind of scary moving forward with them, so we got to watch out for them. Uh, it sounds like there's some cracks in that group. And Vanessa advises Steve, like, you should go and make a one-week deal with Shelly just to make sure you're good for next week. Um, so that's it for that. But then Audrey was talking to Vanessa, and they were talking about forming, like, a female Chill Town alliance. Uh, these two in an alliance together? I thought they already had, like, a final two deal. I thought they were going to work together, but... They were talking about it again. And um, Vanessa then brings up potentially working with Jason because she's like, yeah, Jason's losing all of his allies. We could just scoop him up. He'd be a good person to work with if the whole Shelly and Clay thing doesn't work out. Something tells me it's not going to work out and they're going to start going after each other sooner rather than later. Um, so Audrey's just like, yeah, that's great and all, but there's like no way that Jason is going to work with me. And I'm totally going to agree with that. I do not see... Jason working with Audrey. I mean, crazier things have happened, but I don't see it. Um, so then Vanessa was talking to Liz about Austin, of course, and she's just like, what's the deal? What's going on with you two? So Liz is like, well, I love his personality, um, <laughs> but she doesn't like the hair. She doesn't like the beard. Plus, he has a girlfriend outside of the house. Like, how many times do we have to say that? And they're on national TV. She doesn't want to get involved with all that in front of the whole world. So Vanessa's like, well, he's crushing hardcore. So you're going to either need to move forward with it or nip it in the bud because it's going to be a hindrance on this game. So that was it for last night. Uh, this morning, Vanessa did her HOH block. She got the HOH camera. They're taking a bunch of pictures. Um... Nothing, like, too exciting happening so far today, but I think they're planning on having, like, a date night tonight, so I'm sure that will be fun. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Let me know in the comments who you want to see go on a date together. And until tomorrow, much love. Edit.